Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to Coffee and Headlines, our daily get-together live here on Facebook every day of the week, 10.30 in the morning, where we take a look at current headlines, questions, comments, ideas, suggestions, anything that we can get our hands on from reliable sources, of course, that can help us improve our quality of life living here in Puerto Vallarta as a community of English-speaking locals. It is always a pleasure to get together with you every morning. And it's always a pleasure to scout the news and see what's going on. And I love days like today because today the news provides us with an excellent opportunity to learn a Spanish phrase and one of my favorite ones, um, but not yet. First of all, let me just see uh, who's here. And before we do that, actually let us welcome anybody that happens to be new in the broadcast, if you are watching for the first time, um, get comfortable, grab a nice cup of coffee or tea or whatever your favorite beverage is, tequila, raicilla. You know, it's never too early to start drinking in this town. And if you're new, just let us know that you're new by writing the word new in the comments. Um, and I need to stop playing with my crochet coaster because it's distracting me. Here, Luna, play with this. There you go. Um, no, actually, don't play with that because you think that everything I crochet is a mouse. Don't touch that. Anyhow, here we are. Let us get started by seeing who is in the house and seeing if there's any important starting comments, comments, com comments, comments. And of course, if you have something important that you wish to share, like why did I provide you a link that didn't work for the taco map? Um, don't worry, I'm going to clarify that. Just add the letter Q at, uh, in front of your comment, and that way we'll be looking for it. Let's see, Anaheim is in the house. It is Thirsty Thursday, although not officially, um, <clears throat> but it is Thirsty Thursday. I say it is Thirsty Thursday. Uh, the sun is finally shining in mission, says Marie. That is great news. Bob is in the house. Um, I was going to comment on that. But I'm glad that you realized, Michal, that it is still Thursday, not Friday. Tomorrow is Friday. I'm looking forward to tomorrow for many, many reasons. Um, I'm getting together with dear friends, of course, and that makes the day absolutely special. Um, let's see. Michael says, thank you for the taco map. Well, if you try to click on it, the link was wrong. It was thanks to our dear friend Rita Myers, who sent me a message this morning. And she said, is it me? Um, thank you so much for that, Rita. I have gone back and edited the link. So the link to the taco map is now working properly. If it isn't, please let me know. Refresh your browser. And of course, as I mentioned in the email that you received, this link is only for supporting members. Thank you for supporting. So kindly do not publish it on social media. Do not share it with the world. Instead, encourage the world to come join us here and have fun with us at Coffee and Headlines and support everything that we do. Um, let's see. Um, Sherry must have just gotten the taco map because I literally just updated it uh, a few minutes ago. So yay. 
Uh, again, Rita, thank you so much for pointing that out. My bad. Uh, Michael, as a matter of fact, I will be in Emiliano Zapata today in, the, in Southside, in El Centro. No, I'm going to be in Emiliano Zapata in Old Town. No, I'm going to be in Emiliano Zapata today. Uh, let me know what's up, and I would love to see you because I haven't seen you in a while. Um, thank you for that, Joe. It's being corrected. Kindly, kindly take a look at it again. And if you still have some problems, do let me know. Uh, let's see. Let's see. What else do we have? Edgar Sanchez is in the house. You know, folks, Edgar, you have to know Edgar. And I'm going to say several wonderful things about him because not only does he work at Seasons PV, where you can see his beautiful face just about every day. He is also an accomplished actor and a singer, and he goes on stage whenever COVID allows for it. And he produces his own broadcasts that he uh, puts out on YouTube. And it's just, his show is called Era Popera, it is, it, which means it translates loosely to uh, pop music era. And he does all kinds of really fun interviews. This is in Spanish, unfortunately, for those that don't understand the language. But he does all these interviews uh, with and brings in friends. And it's, it's a tightly put together YouTube show here in Puerto Vallarta by a local. And the way he is harnessing technology to entertain is just absolutely amazing. I'm going to share the link to his broadcasts. Um, so if you don't speak Spanish, brace yourselves because Spanish, Spanish is fast and fluid and naughty and funny in his show. I wish uh, he serves as inspiration to many people, including myself. I wish I could edit as beautifully as he does. Um, Andrea says, I am newish. Um, my name is Paco, not Poco, but I'm sure that was the corrector. Um, I love it. The, uh, the, the, the spell checker sometimes calls me all kinds of things. I've been called Pico, Paco, Poco, um, um, and other other things. I've been called an asshole, but that's okay. Who hasn't? Uh, Andrea's going to be here in five weeks. Good for you. Coffee and Kahlua and Bailey sounds delicious. If I didn't have to run errands today, I would be there big time. Joey, you totally impressed me with your comment from yesterday letting us know that you helped build the skateboarding rink at uh, the stadium. That is so awesome. If you are involved with the new, uh, with this new enterprise that wants to build another skating uh, uh, park along the Malecon and uh, you have news to share with us, please let us know because I think it is an awesome, awesome idea. Uh, James thought that I was making tortillas. I know, I know. I just get distracted very easily. So I need to get rid of my distractions so that I can focus my, all my attention on you. Uh, Heather, I noticed that you sent me something as I was beginning to broadcast. And yes, we are going to report on this snafu that seemed to be reported yesterday. Um, thank you for that. Uh, let's see. Andrea says, yo necesito that taco map <clears throat> piece of cake. Andrea, all you have to do is become a supporting member of uh, Coffee and Headlines. It's not expensive, and you get a lot of bang for your buck. You get a lot of taco for your buck. That's for sure. Let's see what else do we have. Um, ba -boom, ba -boom, bum, bum. Uh, the link works perfectly now. Yay! Thank you very much, Bronica. Thank you very much. Um, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. That sounds like a date. Swimming Rama at 5 o'clock along with martinis. It sounds like I'm going to be spending some time at Michael's Thai restaurant. That sounds absolutely delicious. If you haven't been to Michael's Thai cuisine restaurant, it is absolutely delicious. All his restaurants are, for that matter. Um someone's here from iceland um if i if i if, if somebody reported from iceland this i must have missed it but i think that's amazing iceland we just talked about music from iceland not too long ago and iceland is the first country i just read that has actually removed all cases of covid from its from within so i think that's absolutely wonderful 
And where can I find this taco map I'm hearing about? That's very easy, Andrea. Once you become a supporting member, you have access to a series of articles that we post that are only exclusive to people that are supporting members. Uh, we try to put together either bonus content or perks for those that support the channel. Uh, once you become a supporter, you will be accessing these posts and they are available at Buy Me A Coffee, which is where all the support goes on. Let's see what else. Let's see what else. Another return, and it's no joke. April Fool's Day. Lynn says that she's coming back to Puerto Vallarta on April Fool's Oh, my God, April Fool's Day. Oh, my God. We should have a day of fake news like we did on the Dia de los Inocentes, which is Mexico's April Fool's Day. That's a great idea. Thank you very much for suggesting that. We'll have fake news on April 1st. Um, let's see what else. Ah, you are a mural artist. Oh, that is fascinating. My goodness, Joey, do let me know more about the work that you're doing because, I mean, we've been meaning to connect with those of you that do murals. Um, so uh, please, please talk to me. Talk to me. I We would love to know uh, what you're doing. Oh, my God, Gina is in Iceland. My goodness, Gina, there you are. Um, excellent. I wish I was in Iceland. Sounds like a fascinating country, but I'm happy to be here. Anyhow, let's see. Oh, so I must have misread. I must have misread this business about Iceland. I'm sorry to hear about that. And let's see. Every day is fake news day on Facebook, which is why we're not on Facebook, says James Binder. Um, now let us get into our first. Okay, I've told you about the wrong. I've told you about the wrong. Um link. And now I'm going to tell you about this business that was published yesterday by the Tribuna. But first, let's play the headline transition. Okay, so yes, yesterday somebody reported, somebody got really happy because Vallarta's second dose of vaccines for seniors was coming. And I was like, mm, I haven't read anything about that. It must be fresh news. And I kept looking for these news all day yesterday and I couldn't find them. Uh, Heather has now clarified that another local source says, uh, no, the, the vaccines are destined for Guadalajara, and I actually have uh, more information about that. So if you got all excited to learn that vaccines were coming to Puerto Vallarta, the bad news is that they are not, at least not yet. We don't have any, any uh, information to that effect, and I'm looking for my Wah, 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 sound and I can't find it. I don't know where it went. We just played it. Good heavens. Anyhow, let me continue with the news because there are vaccine shipments to talk about, but none of them are coming here. And it seems like all the vaccine information that we have says they're coming, but it they, doesn't say where. For example, this one, 1, 107,820 Pfizer vaccines have arrived in Guadalajara. These must be the ones that were referred to, um, that were discussed in the in the Tribune um, article. But they are destined for the capital's senior citizens as well as medical personnel. Again, there is no indication that any of those vaccines are destined for Puerto Vallarta. We also found out that, um, give me one second. Ah, better than sex. We also found out that this morning a shipment with 1 million Sinovac vaccines arrived in Mexico City from China. Including this shipment, China has delivered 4 million vaccines in five shipments to date. Again, no specific information has been reported as to where these vaccines will be used. Meanwhile, the United States is fulfilling its commitment to loan loan 1.5 million AstraZeneca vaccines to Mexico, and these are expected to arrive this coming Sunday. Foreign Affairs, Affairs Chancellor Marcelo Ebrard indicated that these vaccines will be used to provide 870,000 seniors their second vaccine dose. Again, no specifics were shared as to where these vaccines will be applied, 
and when. I don't know if this is because reporters are lazy or the information is not readily available. So it seems to me that, uh, oh, I am going to pick on you in a second, Jorge Mendez Collazo, but I'm going to wait till I, no, I'm going to pick on you right now. Um, and you're going to be the guinea pig. And the, I have seen this type of comment before, um, querido, things to the effect of, oh, no, I don't get the Russian vaccines and I don't get the Chinese vaccines. Not for me. No, thank you very much. And, um, you know, I'm wondering for those of you that say, well, I don't want this vaccine and I don't want that vaccine. Uh, and particularly, I've heard these remarks, remarks about the Russian and the Chinese vaccine. So if you had a car accident and you are nearly dead and all of a sudden the ambulance arrives and it turns out that the ambulant person is Chinese, you're not going to let this person save your life? I'm just going to leave that out there. And back to the news. Uh, where were we? Bam, ba -ba -ba -bam. Ah, okay, so we talked about the U.S. vaccines. Now we got to talk about Uber. We've mentioned in the past how being an Uber driver may not be nearly as glamorous and profitable and sexy as one might think. Although I did have a sexy incident with an Uber driver, but we're not going to go there. Yesterday, a caravan of Uber drivers traveled through the city in protest against the company for their fee increases. As you know, you take a 50 peso Uber ride somewhere and the slice that the drivers end up with and turns out to be minuscular. Minuscular? Teeny weeny. Teeny weeny. So drivers began by the bus depot near the airport ending up at the Uber offices on Francisco Villa, where they posted a symbolic clausurado or shutdown sticker on Uber's door. Hopefully they are able or they were able to make some noise and uh, help change the mindset of the company because I have heard from many, many drivers that the fees are just um are just too high um <clears throat> moving right along and i am getting all excited because this is where we learn a mexican expression so malecon businesses submitted a proposal to the municipal government indicating that vehicular traffic should return so that they can increase their earnings and that bicycles and skateboards should be banned altogether well, Puerto Vallarta's transit department replied negatively, indicating that there is nor the safety nor the infrastructure required to simply change the purpose of the walkway. Of the walkway. And of course, if you look at this, you know, you try to imagine, I mean, for those of us that have been around here for a while, I remember when this photograph that we're looking at was just cars and cars and cars and cars, and then all of a sudden, um, all of a sudden, we, we, we get this beautiful walkway, and now they wanted to have it changed. Well, it's not that easy. It's really not that easy, and it's not that simple. I personally am happy that uh, it is a walkway and that they're not turning it into um, a, a, a street again. But I can imagine some of the people at the traffic department in the city thinking about this beautiful, this delicious Mexican expression that I'm going to teach you today, which is enchilame una gorda. Enchilame una gorda, which literally translates to spice me a fat lady or spice me a chubby. And that sounds dirty too. Enchilame una gorda is this beautiful expression that we use whenever um, somebody makes a proposal or makes an expression that is completely preposterous. Now, the meaning um, is, I gave you the literal meaning, but actually a gorda here in the context of this expression has nothing to do with a fat lady or it has nothing to do with a chubby. We can, uh, well, we're not going to go into chubbies today. A gorda in this case refers to a gordita, which is, a gordita is a, a wonderful Mexican treat. It, uh, in, in Mexican cuisine, a gordita is a pastry that is made with masa, 
and it is stuffed with cheese or meat or other fillings. It is similar to the Colombian and Venezuelan arepa. Um, so the notion of spicing a gordita, which is an enclosed, um, an enclosed pastry, is similar to trying to eat or, or trying to change the flavor of an apple uh, turnover into a pineapple. You know, you cannot just open it uh, without opening it or changing the flavor without opening it. So every time somebody makes an, uh, an idea that is totally preposterous, it's like, you know, it's like, go to Michael Beaufort's restaurant, order some pad thai, and you will be a fluent Spanish speaker in 35 minutes. Huh. And chila me una gorda. So anytime somebody says something preposterous, you know, uh, the owners of... Um, uh, let me see, something proposed. Yes, the owners of Paco Paco are trying to gay the whole town, so now they're going to buy all the Catholic churches. Yeah, enchila me una gorda. So enchila me una gorda is this wonderful expression that we use frequently, um, and I thought it was a perfect expression to learn now that we're looking at the fact that the Malecon businesses wanted, just like that, to change the purpose of, of their beautiful street. Yeah, ni que fuera en Chile me una gorda. And with that, we are going to jump into the weather. And I haven't even looked at your comments. I will take a look at your comments after the weather because I was I was on a roll. I was on a roll. Uh, it's 24 degrees. Uh, Right now, it, it would, would be 75 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, humidity is 33%, which is very low. That is absolutely... <laughs> Speaking of fat ladies um, or gordas, that cloud looks like your mom says <laughs> snarky weather. No, I don't plan these things. They just sort of happen. Weather forecast is partly cloudy through the day. High temperature 29, low temperature 16. Tomorrow, Friday, it'll be partly cloudy again. High temperature, 29. Low temperature, 16. And Saturday, it'll be um, clear through the day with a high temperature of 30. Low temperature, 17. Uh, and now, let me take a quick look at your comments. Ba, ba, dee, ba, dee, ba, ba. Let's see. Um. Jorge says, I get afraid. I'm sorry. You know, Jorge, I can totally hear you. I can totally hear you. It is so natural to be afraid of things that we don't know. Um, and, and yes, the comment can be offensive to some. We are not going to take it as an offense here. At least I'm not going to take it as an offense. Although Arturo was quick to throw in his... Uh, his comment as well. I'm sure that Jorge does not mean to be racist. Um, but I thought I would throw that out there just so that we can also learn from our mistakes because, you know, sometimes we say things and we don't realize that when we say things, we might be hurting somebody's feelings without realizing it. And, and, I, and again, I brought it up not because I wanted to finger point you, Jorge, but because it's easy to jump to those kinds of conclusions. Um, and, you know, in this day and age, you know, who wants to hurt somebody's feelings um, deliberately? You know, I'm sure it's, it's not meant as such. Michael says, I have had some incredibly sexy Uber drivers who will have to share some stories. I have two Uber drivers that are very sexy and they've given me several rides uh, from one place to another. Not that kind of ride, but I have joked with them. I've said, you know, the next time, you know, you got to propose. Um, Thank you very much, Rita. This gives a lot of helpful perspective, uh, perspective for some and for all. Let's see. Uh, uh oh, I think Logan is having. Never mind. I think Logan is having uh, uh, a little Uber fantasy. Um, and children, that's okay. You don't need to. You don't need to have a big discussion about racism here. Um, I understand where you're all coming from. Now, kiss and makeup. So there. Um, um, Heather says, this expression, spice me a fat lady, or enchila me una gorda, is called for several times a day here. Absolutely. Enchila me una gorda is a delicious, a delicious phrase. Fernando says, I have never heard that phrase, and I have not used it either. Fernando, 
throw it into your vocabulary. It is delicious. You know, next time your best friend tells you, now I'm really starting an exercise program. Yeah, enchila me una gorda. Or next time your best friend says, now I'm really quitting smoking next week. Aha, uh -huh. enchila me una gorda. It's a great expression. We love it. We love it. Um, uh, da, da, da. Let's see what else. Let's see what else. Uh, Matthew says he hasn't received any vaccines. I actually checked in with my sister yesterday, Matthew, and she told me that she has been vaccinated. She lives in uh, near where the Humex Museum is uh, in Polanco. So I don't know exactly uh, how they're being distributed uh, in, in Mexico City. Um, could we say enchila me una flaca? Probably not, because there is no food that you can stuff that is called a flaca. Um, but hey, I don't see why not. But enchila me una gorda is 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 very common. And and yes, ni que fueran enchiladas is very common in Mexico City. Absolutely, I've heard that expression again, uh, again and again. Um, I took Jorge's comment as he was afraid of the medication from countries if it hadn't been tested elsewhere. Well, again, you know, there was that interesting article that I shared with you from Vox the other day about efficacy of the different vaccines. Feel free to take a, a look at um, at that article. It's on the show notes, a couple of issues, a couple of um, uh, broadcasts ago. Um, let's see. Heidi says, Taco Map did not come through. Heidi, if you tried it this morning, I have corrected the link. If you're still having problems with it, feel free to let me know. Um, moving right along to some, I have two leisurely headlines to share with you before we wrap things up. And I want to get to those. Um, otherwise, we continue to get chatty and we will never get anything done. If you intended to go whale watching in Banderas Bay this coming weekend, you are out of luck as whale watching season ended this past Tuesday. The official season began on, de on December 8th. And a total of 420 permissions were granted this year. 220 of those went to Nayarit to enjoy up-close encounters with these magnificent animals for recreational purposes. The, you may find this interesting. Although there are no official numbers, it is estimated that between 300 and 500 whales migrate to our warmer waters every winter to frolic, make out, and reproduce. And now that this is over, all we can say to them is bon voyage, buen viaje, and come back next year. And the last headline that I have here is that interim mayor Jorge Antonio Quintero Alvarado officially presented new steps and access ramps at the Isla Rio Cuale, thus concluding the first stage of improvements in this popular Puerto Vallarta attraction, a second stage will take place in the future, although no specific information is available at this time as to when it will commence or what will be improved. This makes me think that now that I'm doing the Wednesday walks with the camera and the stills combined, maybe it is a good time to go back and uh, and walk the Isla Rio Cuale uh, now that the the improvements are finished, or at least what they were going to do this time around. If this is something you'd like to see, please write the comment, uh, write a comment about Isla Rio Cuale, and we will definitely uh, go there uh, sometime in the very near future. Let me take a quick look at uh, some of your comments. Angelo says, I'm an equal opportunity vaccinee. Same here. You know, once the vaccine comes for the age between 50 and 60, I will be ever so happy to get it because I want to go to Guadalajara. I want to go shopping for underwear and yarn and yarn. And I want to go to concerts. Absolutely. Uh, pa, pa, da, pa, pa. Stephanie says, our time together goes too fast. No, we keep it short because that way it is precious, Stephanie. Imagine if we were here for hours and hours and hours. Uh, let's see what else. Is that a statue of Crocodile Dundee? Um, yes, for you it is, Michael. Yeah, and Chila me una gorda. No, that is actually John Houston you were looking at. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. And Brett Angelo, let's go get some bread together whenever you want, Papacito. I love that photo. You look so sexy with that hat. Oops. 
outside voice. I can't believe I said that. Please do go for a walk around Isla Rio Cuale. I'm staying right around there. Okay, Andrea, I'll be happy to do that. Um, and let's see what else. I would love to see the Isla Rio Cuale because it is on our list of possible living places. Uh, sure, no problem. We will walk the island again. I love walking in that neighborhood, and we will make it. We will make it happen. Um, Paco found a new torta place. I'm taking you on Monday. So plan it. I know you're a busy man. Okay. I love to be taken to torta places. I love it. And with that said, um, I think we're done. Yes, we're done. Today is Thursday. It's errand day for me. I am going into town because I need to buy some chingaderas that I need. And I am going to do a little walking. And I'm going to do a little tacoing. And I'm going to buy some yarn. And I'm going to receive a wonderful surprise present that I'm going to show off in the near future that I'm getting from a dear friend. Uh, and I got all giddy about that. But between now and then, let us have an awesome day uh, and let us stay kind, stay happy, stay well fed, stay safe and stay in touch. And I will hope to see you again sometime very soon, hopefully even tomorrow. Have a great day.